Hi, this is Bhanu. In this video, I am going to show you what are the new features which has been added in the release version 3.1.0. This is a common video for both help desk and service desk. In the description of the video, I am going to share the URL of the release notes. So going over the release notes, the first feature added has been organized system reports. So what we have done is how we were showing the navigation for the reports has changed now. We have clubbed the reports into help desk analysis, productivity and customer happiness. So let me open one of the reports for you. So when I open the report here and if I go to filters, there is a new button that you will see now which is called fork. What the fork will do is it will save the filters that you have created here. So whatever filters you have chosen here, using the fork, you can give it a name. And I can choose if I want to share this with all my colleagues or it, I want to make it private only for myself. So I've created this. I've created this report and saved it. And now if I go back to the reports, I can see the new saved filters here. So this is the additional feature that has been added to the reports, which was not there earlier. So the filters can be saved now. Next feature which has been added is improved form builder. So if I go to admin panel and the form builder. So here what we have done now is we have clubbed all the three forms into one. The ticket form, organization form, requester form has been clubbed into the one form and we have separate tabs for all of them. Also, if you notice here, the UI of the form has changed. So it's much more user friendly uh, and easy to uh, use now. And let me go back to the release notes. And if you see here, it's, it's, it's written here, managed all your form from one place, improved UI in the forms, improved handling of nesting fields and the child fields. So these are the additional fields that has been uh, added, the additional features that have been added to the forms is more user friendly, plus you can handle them from one place, plus the child, child field adding has become much more easier. The next feature that we have added is the WhatsApp integration. Now Fabio supports a new channel which is WhatsApp. To access the WhatsApp setting you have to go to plugins. And from plugins, you need to activate the WhatsApp plugin. After that, you can go to the settings page and here you can configure your WhatsApp uh, settings. Now the WhatsApp feature is brought in tie with Twilio. So you need to have a Twilio WhatsApp business account. And once you have that WhatsApp business account, you can configure WhatsApp here and Fabio will start reading your WhatsApp number and you can respond to those tickets from within Fabio and the reply will go back uh, to WhatsApp. So this is another uh, additional feature and very popular channel today. A lot of communication is happening over WhatsApp. So uh, it looks like a very popular channel and a very useful channel uh, that can be used now for the tickets. Going back to the release notes, the other things which is done is bug fixes. So uh, earlier we had some issues with the cron job uh, when multiple uh, plugins are enabled, this is fixed. Uh, there was some issue regarding the backup and update with PHP 7.3 which is fixed now. Uh, some attachment issues for certain mails were not being picked up. Uh, it's mentioned in the release note in detail that is fixed. The PDF generation issue is fixed. And there were also some uh, change status and assigned tickets from departments and team view page. This is also fixed. So this is pretty much for today. Uh, I highly recommend that you uh, update your Favio copy to the latest version and enjoy these new features and along with the bug fixes. Thank you.